Hey guys, welcome to Set to Esquiques. This is the fifth and last part of our periodicals, magazines, and journal series. And friends, make sure that you have watched the last four parts. So let us start our today's video. Differences: A Journal of Feminist Cultural Studies. It is a peer-reviewed academic journal that was established in 1989 by Naomi Score and Elizabeth Wade. It covers research in cultural studies. The current editors in chief are Elizabeth Wade and Ellen Roney. The journal, though autonomous, is housed by the Pembroke Center for Teaching and Research on Women. It was originally published by Indiana University Press, but since 2003, it has been published by Duke University Press. Next one is the Manova. It was launched in 1989. Manova brings the literature of Asia, the Pacific, and the Americas to English-speaking readers. The journal has published over sixty volumes, ten thousand pages, and thousand four hundred writers, translators, reviewers, and editors. Twice a year, Manova presents outstanding contemporary writing, offering new translations from throughout the region. Past volumes have featured new work from such places as the People's Republic of China, Tibet, Nepal, Taiwan, Japan, Korea, and many more. Works in Manova have been cited for excellence by the editors of such anthologies as Best American Short Stories, Best American Poetry, Best American Essays, Prize Stories, the O. Henry Awards, and Pushkar Prize. Manova has also received national awards for its design and editorial excellence. Then comes the Asian Studies Review. It adopts a contemporary approach to critical studies of Asia and welcomes new research in related disciplines. The areas covered include recent academic explorations in cultural studies, film and media studies, popular and youth cultures, queer studies, diasporic studies, transnational and globalization studies, health sciences and the environment. The journal is multidisciplinary and welcomes contributions in the fields like anthropology, history, economics, politics and many more. Asian Studies Review also include review articles and book reviews. It is associated with Asian Studies Association of Australia, which is a professional organization with over 500 members devoted to the study of all aspects of Asia. Next one is the Circles. It welcomes articles on the social and cultural practices of the English speaking world like literature, linguistics, history, politics, sociology, anthropology and aesthetics. It offers a variety of perspectives involving gender, ethnicity, ideology and theory. Next one is the Idler. It's a bi-monthly magazine started in 1993 by Tom Hodgkinson and Gavin Peter Penny. Its aim is to return dignity to the art of laughing, to make idling into something to aspire towards rather than reject. The title comes from a series of essays written by Samuel Johnson which was published in 1758 to 59. It was relaunched in 2014. The Crab series of humor books is a direct spin-off from an Idler column and was edited by Dan Karen. Next one is the Southern Literary Review. It celebrates Southern authors and their contributions to American literature. It features classic Southern writers who have defined Southern literature such as Sora Neil Hudson and William Faulkner. Southern Literary Review also profiles and interviews modern novelists such as Tom Wolfe and Wendell Berry and emerging Southern writers such as Daniel Wallace and Sue Monkett. It was founded in 2004. Having overhauled in the spring of 2009, the editors invited several new contributors to produce fresh content on a regular basis. New York Times best-selling author Julie Cantrell served as editor-in-chief for nearly 2 years and Adele Annecy joined as managing editor. Next one is the South Asian Review. The referred journal of the South Asian Literary Association is a representative international scholarly forum for the examination of South Asian languages and literatures in a broad cultural context. The journal is published four times a year. The special topic issue on June and July, the regular issue on October, the creative writing issue on November, and the conference issue on December. Next one is the Vada Bagay, a journal of the Caribbean and its diasporas. It is committed to facilitating the exchange of ideas among Caribbean scholars worldwide. It is a multidisciplinary journal that publishes scholarly articles and occasional creative works from diverse fields including politics, literature, sociology and religion and reviews recent publications in Caribbean studies. It places special emphasis on the acculturation of Caribbean people in North America but explores the Caribbean experiences in all geographic locations where Caribbean people have settled. The journal's title is a Garifuna, named for the corn shell that is frequently used to awaken Caribbean villages and announce community gatherings. It symbolizes the historic call to action by Haitian slaves and the Caribbean people's continuing struggle for self-expression and self-determination. Next one is the Words Without Borders (WMB). It opens doors to international exchange through translation, publication, and promotion of the world's best writing. 
It publishes selected prose and poetry on the web, banned in print anthologies, stages special events that connects foreign writers to the general public and media, develops materials for high school teachers to use foreign literature in the classrooms, and continues to build an unparalleled online resource center for contemporary global writing. Then comes the Interventions, an international journal of post-colonial studies. It is an interdisciplinary peer-reviewed journal operating at the crossroads of contemporary work in the humanities and social sciences in the following areas of research, theory and politics. Theories of colonialism, secular colonialism, occupation and post-colonialism, the histories, impact and long-term effects of imperialism and colonialism on all aspects of society. The role of culture in the operation of imperialism and in the formations of national resistance. Contemporary Marxist philosophy and related cultural theory and many more. It is a specialist journal focusing on the following aspects of post-colonial research theory and politics. The histories of imperialism and colonialism, the role of culture in the operation of imperialism and in the formations of national resistance, liberation struggles, past and ongoing. The assumption guiding the editorial policy of interventions, the International Journal of Postcolonial Studies will be that a journal, while representing a disciplinary field, can also make effective interventions within it, interrogating, shaping and extending it without seeking to dictate. Next one is the Asiatic. It is the first international journal on Asian Englishes and English writings by Asian and Asian diasporic writers, currently being the only one of its kind. Its aim is to publish high-quality research articles and outstanding creative works combining the broad fields of literature and linguistics within its focus area. Next one is the Borderlands, an electronic journal. It is an international journal and its aim is to promote transdisciplinary work across the humanities, work which might also intersect with diverse practices and sites in culture, policy and everyday life. Although beginnings are modest, we hope that over time you will be able to view writings cutting across and between politics, media, literature, history, law, science, medicine, philosophy, economics, music and many more. Next one is the Hybridity, a journal of cultures, texts and identities. It is a multidisciplinary and internationally referred journal housed in the Department of English Language and Literature of the National University of Singapore and published by Oxford University Press Singapore. Then comes the New Literatures Review. It is a referred international journal published twice a year. It publishes articles and interviews which emphasize the study of post-colonial literatures, especially comparative approaches and the application of literary theory to this field, as well as studies of individual writers and works. Next one is the research in African literatures. The premier journal of African literary studies worldwide serves as a stimulating vehicle in English for research on the oral and written literatures of Africa. Next one is the reviews in cultural theory. It is a journal of book reviews that respond to new developments in the theorization of culture. It is published as online and is a bi-weekly and collected into issues three times a year. Reviews in Cultural Theory seeks to provide a forum to foreground both new work in this field and the emerging community of scholars who share an interest in the complex and changing problematic of culture today. Focusing on the wide distribution of short and timely reviews and review essays, the journal aims to remain responsive to the dynamism and pace of this field. The journal's first three issues chart the contemporary shape of cultural theory as it touches on visual culture, gender studies, geography, cure theory and many more. Next one is the Small Axe, a Caribbean journal of criticism. If we are a big tree, we are a small axe. This is a Jamaican proverb which suggests that a small axe is an instrument of criticism. Since the demise of New World Quarterly in the late 1960s and Sava Quo in the late 1970s, there has not been in the Anglo-Creole Caribbean a significant independent journal devoted to social, cultural and political criticism. In different ways, the agendas of New World Quarterly and Sava Quo were cultural nationalist in orientation. Importantly, these were oppositional nationalist projects, nationalism position counter to the complacent middle class nationalism through which the post-colonial nation states in the Caribbean were being imagined and constructed. Both journals sought to think critically against the Eurocentric norms of historical and cultural understanding of Caribbean society. Importantly too, both journals were in concern merely to dismantle the epistemological assumptions of European or Western understandings of the Caribbean. They were concerned also to explore the idea of an idiom of criticism that was vernacular, that is to say a practice of criticism that both gave form to and spoke from within a Caribbean cultural political tradition. 
Next one is the SOAS Literary Review that is School of Oriental and African Studies Literary Review. It is a referred online journal edited and produced by research students at the School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London. The journal seeks to provide an international forum for research students working on humanities topics and focusing on Africa, Asia and the Middle East. Papers on literature, visual and performing arts, film and media are welcome. It encourages contributions on all aspects of postgraduate research including translations, fieldwork commentaries and book and media reviews. It aims to stimulate dialogue between research students and scholars and forge links across institutions. Next one is the African Studies Review. It is an academic and scholarly journal of the African Studies Association. The African Studies Review appears three times per year in April, September and December and is mailed to members of the association as one of the many benefits of membership. The mission of the African Studies Review is to publish the high quality articles as well as book and film reviews in all academic disciplines that are of interest to the interdisciplinary audience of African Studies Review members. The articles that appear in this are edited by Ralph Oakingham of the University of Massachusetts Amherst and by Mitzi Goheen of Amherst College. Book reviews are commissioned and edited by Catherine Newbury and David Newbury of Smith College. The editors rely on the faculty of the Five College African Studies Council for editorial policy guidance and the cost of editing the African Studies Review are borne by Five Colleges, a consortium representing Amherst College, Hampshire College, Mount Holyoke College, Smith College and the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Next one is the English Studies in Africa. It was established in 1958. It, it publishes some of the key interventions in literary studies. Its origins is in the Department of English at the University of Witwatersrand and its emphasis for many years was thoroughly levisite. The journal has emphasized, as its name attests, the study of world literature in English within African context at the same time as it set about promoting the study of African literature worldwide. Its founding editors clearly wish to establish a continuity between Anglo-American and Southern African literary studies and this ethos persists, though in a revised form. Next one is the Macomeo. It is a referred journal that is devoted to scholarly studies and creative works by and about Caribbean women in the Americas, Europe and the Caribbean diaspora. It is the journal of the Association of Caribbean Women Writers and Scholars which is an international organization founded in 1995. Macomeo is published annually at the end of each year. Yes. We have completed the entire periodicals and journal series and hope you understood all these five parts very well. We have done our best to give you as much as information regarding this content. Now it's your turn to watch these videos, learn and to gain good score in the net exam. We guarantee you again after watching our channel's videos that you need not have to rely on any other materials because we are providing you only the best of best. Okay, thank you guys.